head over to Visionary Fragrances UK if you want authentic samples and bottles of your favorite designer and niche fragrances. Don't say I didn't put you on, yeah? All right, let's get on to the video. Welcome back to Trusted Nose with the man that likes to smell good. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling dun dun, noisy, just smelling. So, Mr. Jeremy Fragrance, the most popular, most recognizable fragrance reviewers right now on YouTube. Love him or hate him, you can't deny his impact on the game. But can these fragrances have the same impact? You're about to find out. So, I've got three of his offerings. We got date, office, and black tie. So I present to you sample testing part 13, Jeremy Fragrance edition. So, boy, let's go. Jekalo, man, Jekalo. I want to give a quick shout out to Visionary Fragrances UK for hooking your boy up with a care package. If you want to find like authentic samples, authentic bottles as well, just head over to their website. I'm going to leave all the information down below. So onto the video. So I'm going to start off with date for men. So the notes consist of mandarin orange, juniper berry, bergamot, and lemon. The middle consists of cardamom, patchouli, and the base consists of vetiver and argilwood. So let me put that down. So to me, you know I always like to give it to you like in a basic form, straight to the point, whatever. So to me, this is basically a fruity, sexy fragrance, which isn't too sweet and it's got a little like masculine edge and that's obviously coming from the vetiver and the oud. But the oud isn't really like ooding in this one, it's just like, it's just like a like slight woodiness. Like it's not really powerful or anything like that. The vetiver is not powerful as well. It's just mainly that fruitiness. So when I first tried it now, I was thinking, oh yeah, this is, this is, this is cool. But like immediately I thought of one fragrance and one fragrance that probably everyone's tried now by now. Uh, one fragrance that is well loved in the designer world and a fragrance that probably everyone's bought back in the day. So it reminded me of Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramel. So I was just smelling it. I was thinking, yeah, it's similar, but with this one now, this is like super sweet. This is like bubblegum sweet. So on the scale to like sweetness. So 10 being the most sweet and obviously one being the least sweet. I, this is like a nine and the date for men is probably like, like a six, seven, 6.5 or something like that. But it's cool, but it just reminds me of it too much. But it reminds me of something else, but I quite, can't quite put my like my head on it. So, so asking other people now, someone said that it reminds them of like a diesel fragrance. Someone said that it reminds them of one of the Hugo Bosses. I think they said the Boss Bottle or Cord, but I haven't tried that one yet. But you get what I'm trying to say. It's gonna remind you of other fragrances, which isn't bad, but it's just like, cool. So for all the, so it's called Date for Men. And obviously, you're meant to wear it for dates. And I, I think that's like suitable for it because it's like a sexy fragrance. Um, it's more, I wouldn't say it's as juvenile as Ultra Mel, but it's still got that playfulness, but it's it's like almost like a grown up version of this. So this one has like a sexy alluring quality. This one's more, this one's sexy as well, but it's more playful, it's more bold, it's more like boisterous, but it's still a good fragrance. Performance was good, not as good as this one though, but performance was good, um, above average, and the longevity was decent as well. I can see people getting a lot of compliments with this fragrance, but it's just, it's a safe one. It's like a really, really safe fragrance, in my opinion. Next up, we've got Office for Men. And the top notes consist of Ambroxin, Bergamot, and Orish Root. The building notes consist of Woody Notes, Floral Notes, Ambergris, Jasmine, and Amber. And the base notes consist of Woody Notes again, musk and patchouli so let me put this down so give it to you in a simple form so this fragrance is basically your typical citrus fresh out the shower type of fragrance so like again this fragrance so office for men it reminded me of other fragrances and you know, of course, when you have Ambroxin in the notes, 
it's gonna always be compared to Dior Sauvage. So you get that Dior Sauvageness, but there's a lot of citrus here. And the citrus, it kind of reminds me of that Roger Elysium. So it's got that Roger Elysium, but it's also got that Blue D Chanel type of vibe as well. It's just, basically, it's just another fresh out of the sour type of fragrance. Like it's cool, like I said, but it don't wow me or anything like that, but it's just, Something that I've smelt before is safe as well. So all the places and the seasons, the reasons why you can wear all of those fragrances, like those are like everyday fragrances. This is an everyday fragrance as well. It's not just restricted to the office or anything like that, but it's still a nice smelling fragrance. You'll get compliments with it, but it's just really, really safe again, which isn't bad, but it's just like, hmm. So yeah, and finally, we've got black tie for men and the notes consist of Brazilian Mandarin, orange oil, and Italian lemon. The middle notes consist of garlic wood, and the base consists of vetiver, patchouli, and cardamom. So let me put this down as well. So, black tie. To me, once again, ooh, hit my eye. It's, let me just boil it down. It's like, it's just a citrus woody fragrance, but the guy wood is is guy wood in in this one. Like it's all right, the guy walks is, is doing this thing, it's doing its thing, but it's like it's got this like like a makeup bag type of feel. Like if you've ever like opened up a makeup bag, like look, I've got sisters here, so whatever, I've got sisters here. So whenever you open a makeup bag, there's that smell. And that's the smell I'm getting in this one, but this one's really nice. Like initially, this was like my favorite, but this one's decent. I don't feel like this one's restricted like to formal events, because obviously it's called black tie, but this one is still, I feel like you can wear this one for like every day, um, all seasons. It's not too heavy, but it creates like a nice like aura, a nice like cloud around you. Um, above average performance, like decent performance. It's. It's the most unique smelling out of all of them, but it probably does smell like another designer fragrance, but I just don't know which one it does smell like, but it's, it's an all right one. I can see you getting some compliments with this one as well. Nothing tricky, but again, it's safe. So yeah, it's all right, it's all right. So you probably want me to rank them now, talk about the quality and the price, so that's what I'm going to do. So ranking them now, so Date For Men number one, um, that sexiness, I like that because you know I like ultra male as well. Um, number two, I would say, I would say black tie. Black tie initially was number one, but no, date is just like overtaking it. So black tie number two, and number three, I'll put office for men. So let me talk about the quality of these fragrances. So the quality now, the quality is on quality, and like it's not, it's not really there, and. It's a bad thing that it smells like other fragrances because I'm comparing it too much to them and they are of higher quality and they're cheaper as well. So it's just like, uh. but like, it's not the worst, it's not like terrible quality, but I'm, you're paying premium price for this. And if you're paying premium price, you want premium materials, you want premium performance. Performance was decent though, but you just want, you get what I'm trying to say, you just want something a little bit more like, better um but also as well i feel like these fragrances they're not really for someone like me so let me explain that a little bit more so with myself now obviously i have a youtube channel where i've got like a big collection well not big collection but probably about 50 bottles or whatever it's a little bit big but you know what i'm trying to say like i'm getting more into like niche fragrances like indie brands and stuff like that and like jeremy fragrance like He's entertaining guy. Um, his channel was primarily for people that are not really into fragrances, but they just care about one or two things, about getting compliments, and they care about if it's like an everyday scent. So like the wearability, that's all they care about. It's not really for me, so that's why I'm not judging it too, too, too much. So yeah, um, but also as well, like it's kind of what I expected, so Obviously, I used to watch his channel back in the day when I used to like come on from like uni and stuff like that. I used to 
um, search up stuff like oh, top 10 most complimented and I'll see like what Dio Sauvage did and whatever, blah, blah, blah. I was thinking, oh, okay, cool. So basically all of those like fragrances that he like likes, so like YSL, um, Lanwy de Lom, uh, what, what else does he like? Um, Ultramel, Dio Sauvage, Creed Aventis, Mont Blanc Explorer, like his house smells like those fragrances that you can see the influence in them. So bear that in mind as well, but it's okay, but it's not like, it's not like, um, it's not like amazing. I wouldn't buy a full bottle, but I still appreciate them for what they are. So I gave you the realness right there. So if you like this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I mean, much appreciate. Also follow me on Instagram, trusted underscore knows. And you know what I'm gonna say, more videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.